Hi guys, it's Sin from Sin's Tumblers, and I'm here with the Epoxy Resin Store today to teach you how to make this super cute epoxy tumbler using vinyl, glitter, and of course, epoxy. We're going to need a tumbler spinner. Today I'm using a 15 ounce tumbler. We're also going to be using Tumblr's Lightning Care from the Epoxy Resin Store. Um, pink glitter from CNS Glitter Aporium. Kiss the Girl by Freedom Glitters. We'll need our mixing sticks and mixing cups. You're going to need a torch. You can use one of these. I prefer to use this big one, but either one will work. You're going to need your vinyl sheet and a paper slicer. And you're gonna need a sanding block. Let's go ahead and take the lid off because we're not gonna need it. So go ahead and set it aside. You're gonna take your sanding block and you're going to scuff the entire tumble. Take this and let's see, we're going to go ahead and slice it just straight across. And now we can wrap this around our cup. Once I figure out okay, where this is going, all I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this back and I'm going to fold this part in. And just press that down then I'm gonna pull the backing so I'm gonna pull the backing and as I'm pulling the backing I'm going to with my hand press this down okay now once I get around I'm gonna use this because I could see the back as a guideline and I'm gonna just cut off to the right of it okay just straight down and then we'll take this top piece off now with this same sheet that this was on I'm going to wrap it around and I only want to cover where, I only want to cover the vinyl. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to tape it off just like that. I'm going to mix 5 milliliters of epoxy. So we'll do 2.5 and 2.5. We're going to go ahead and mix that for about 60 seconds. Now you can use other things to add here, your glitter to your cup, but epoxy is my preferred method. I think it, it works really well. It, the glitter sticks so nicely. And with this lightning cure, I only need to wait about five minutes after I've glittered this before I can seal the glitter. If you have a thick layer, what happens is that your glitter can come out globby and we don't want that. And if epoxy gets on this part, it's not a big deal. It's gonna come off anyway. Next thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take the chunky glitter first, which is Kiss the Girl, and I'm just gonna put it. Okay, now we're gonna do it to this part, and we're going to cover all that off. Okay, let's see, let's do the top first. All I'm doing is shaking the bottle back and forth. And then the glitter's falling out of there. I'm going to tilt my cup. And I'm going to just pour the glitter on there. Okay, just like that, now it is fully covered with glitter. Now because we used some chunky in here, I am gonna smash the glitter down, and this is, this is all I do. I just take my finger, and I gently smash it down. Now, I know that there's fine in here too, but that's okay. We're still gonna smash it 
we're just gonna go once around and then same with the bottom layer I'm just gonna tap it we can go ahead and remove this part so I'm gonna peel that off and then this is just gonna come off just like that okay guys so now it's time to add our epoxy to the entire tumbler we're going to use 10 milliliters of epoxy so 5 milliliters part B and 5 milliliters part A. Alright, it actually looks like my epoxy is ready to go. So, you're going to add the epoxy to the vinyl first. Okay, so you're not going to add anything to the glitter right now. You're just going to add epoxy to the vinyl. And by doing this, this is going to make it so that your glitter doesn't get all over the cup. I just want my glitter on the sides, on the ends. Now I'm going to go over to the glitter and I'm going to finish epoxying the glitter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and torch this tumbler. Wait, I waited, I waited about 40 minutes and um, I ended up cutting these little lines. So I'm going to place them over, uh, over the epoxy in between the glitter and the vinyl. And I'm just going to go around. And let's go ahead and wrap it around. And remember, this is going in between the vinyl and glitter. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do two coats over the entire cup. We're gonna mix a total of 15 milliliters. So 7.5 part B and then 7.5 part A. We're going to mix for about 60 to 90 seconds. Okay. Okay. Now, this time I'm going to apply epoxy to the entire cup. I don't need to do the vinyl first and then the glitter. This epoxy is going over the entire tumbler. The glitter's already been sealed in. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. So now, like I said, we can just epoxy over the whole entire tumbler. And we don't have to worry about any glitter shifting anywhere. Okay, so I am passing the rim of the cup. Because I want to make sure that I get it all the way to the end. Okay, and then for the bottom, just going to take some on my fingers. And then in a circular motion, swirl it around the bottom of the cup. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my torch and I'm going to torch my entire cup. Alright, so once around and then the bottom of the cup as well. Okay, and that's it. I'm just going to leave my cup alone now. So now um, I'm going to wait for about 5 to 10 minutes and then we're going to go over this. This time let's do 10 milliliters of epoxy. I did have leftover epoxy. So I think with 10 milliliters of epoxy, we will be fine. Make sure you're scraping the sides and the bottom of the cup. So let's go ahead and add our epoxy. I like to pour with my left and then smooth with my right. You can use one finger or if you want to use your whole hand, you can use your whole hand. I'm not applying too much pressure. I'm I'm applying some light pressure and I'm really just guiding the epoxy is what I'm doing. If you want to play it safe and do 15 milliliters instead of 10, you can, but 
For this 15 ounce tumbler, 10 milliliters was just perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and torch this cup now. So I'm gonna leave my cup here spinning for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna turn off the spinner, but I won't touch my cup until about 45 minutes. So it's been about 45 minutes. I did turn the spinner off at the 20 minute mark and let's take it off look at how pretty this is thank you so much for watching um don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the epoxy resin stores youtube channel and um follow them on all their social media platforms you guys and stay tuned for more videos thanks guys bye